this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of May 29th through June 4th. This is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising Signs. So Leo, I am switching it up this week. I'm using my Morgan Greer tarot deck along with the magical messages from the fairies oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. So if this is something that you like, definitely let me know. I do use different decks for the monthly readings all the time, um, but not so much for the weekly. So if it's something you like, definitely let me know. Interesting, Leo. Hmm. All right. All right, Leo, so at the bottom of the deck, okay, so we have the world, very nice, very blessed energy. And what I always say with the world is patience is required. Um, for some of you, a very long chapter within your life is completing, but then for some other Leos, something in your life could be completing. Um, but it's, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. So patience will be required when it comes to this. You are, for some of you, easing out of chap one chapter of your life, easing into the next chapter. But something's definitely completing, okay? So needing to keep the faith, needing to remain positive. Now, the first thing that I noticed with this spread, Leo, is you have some fives here. And fives represent change, absolutely. But they also can represent a more challenging energy. So I definitely see that some of you are feeling a little challenged. And it could be because something is taking a long time. You're in this, you know, you're in this process of something completing within your life. Now, this is just a general reading, so if you can't resonate with it, that's fine. Please watch your other signs um, or take, you know, the parts that you resonate with. I'm just the messenger. I don't make the rules, okay? I can't stress that enough. Um, the overall energy for the week, Leo, is the Five of Cups. So this can come up when someone's very pessimistic, and I can see here that some of you are dealing with some more internal struggles or issues and I think that with this five of cups here some of you are coming through a little bit more emotional this week but I think that you know for those of you that are coming through a little bit more emotional this week I think by the second half of the week you're actually going to get more grounded you're going to be more balanced um but with the five of cups you know this person is is really focused on the past they're focused on you know the more negative side of things the cups that they that have spilled they're not you know remembering about these they're not remembering these two other cups here so i think that some of you need to change your focus you need to remain positive this is a very doubtful energy and when i pulled an additional clarifying card we have the five of pentacles which is someone who's losing faith they feel like you know there's no one around to help them this is someone who's feeling down and out feeling challenged so i think that some of you it's just a pessimistic energy that you're experiencing at least the the first half of the week for some of you needing to change your focus needing to remain positive because I see these blessings coming in for you you have some you know amazing new beginnings that are coming in for you Leo um, but I think that because you know you're in this process that's why we have this energy because things are taking a long time to manifest for some of you I mean, we have the Ace of Cups here, which is a blessing from the heavens, a beautiful new beginning that's coming in. And for some of you, because we also have the Lover's card here, this could be a relationship, a relationship. This was the very early stages, perhaps, of this relationship. And I think that for some of you, a relationship has begun or the very early stages. Um, and maybe it's taking a long time uh, for things to develop here. And if this is a relationship, you know, we have that emotional connection, uh, but we have this very strong physical attraction as well um, with the lover's card here. So I think that for some of you, it's a new relationship. There's a lot of physical chemistry here. Um, but for whatever reasons, you know, things are taking a little while. So you need to remain positive. And then for some other Leos, you could be waiting on a decision or a choice, or maybe you need to make a decision 
or a choice in regards to this new beginning. Now, if this isn't a new relationship, that's, you know, that's fine. It can be any new beginning that is fulfilling on an emotional level. So for some of you, it can be a new job, a new home, something you're going to fall in love with and something that's going to make you very, very happy. And I think that some of you are maybe waiting on this woman. We have the Empress here underneath the Ace of Cups. So this could be your mother. This could be your significant other. This could be your wife. You might be waiting on this person. There could be, you know, a small number of Leos that you're involved with someone who is maybe attached with the Lover's card and the Empress. The Empress is a three. Uh, for some of you, you might be attached or you could be, maybe you met someone and there was this, this spark uh, and maybe they're attached. And that could be why we have this Five of Swords here. Which the Five of Swords can be anything from deceit to conflicts to a more aggressive energy. So for those of you that have been trying to get pregnant and maybe experiencing some difficulties in that area, don't give up, don't give up. And if you want more insight into the month of June, head on over to Vimeo because uh, I just, you know, I just put up a love relationship reading for the month of June. And you know, I, I address those things. So if, if, if that's something you wanna find more about, head over there. Um, but some of you maybe were experiencing some challenges when it comes to you getting pregnant. But with the world, something is completing now at this time. So needing really to remain positive. You're gonna rise up from all of this. You have judgment here, which is a healing energy. Judgment represents rebirth, recovery. Whatever has been challenging for you, Leo, you're gonna rise up from all of this. We have judgment with the Five of Wands, which I feel is more internal for many of you. We have the Queen of Rods underneath the Five of Rods. I feel like this is more you know, internal for some of you. You might need to make a decision with judgment. Again, maybe there is a situation involving three people. You could be attached and maybe you need to make a decision. And it could it could have been something you were putting off because you know, maybe you were torn or you didn't know what to do. Definitely dealing with some more internal things for some of you but with judgment here you know this is a powerful powerful major arcana and these majors trump you know these little minor arcana energies here i mean you have the world you have judgment something is completing all right leo so i just really want you to stay positive stay positive and stay focused on the future um with judgment, some of you are hearing the call. You know exactly what you need to do. Some of you are literally maybe moving forward now. Um, the Empress is a very, very creative energy. Some of you are definitely giving birth to something new here. If you were dealing with any sort of jealousy or conflicts and you know maybe within the workplace, or honestly, conflicts in any area of your, of your life, I see that ending. If you have something legal going on, you know, literally, I see, I see an ending in sight. An ending is coming in here. And if you were a Leo that was waiting on a decision, could be a financial decision, waiting on a loan to come through, waiting on something that allows for you to manifest, that allows for you to maybe start something new, it's coming, it's absolutely coming. And I see you more in your element, like I mentioned, more towards the second half of the week here. You know, someone who's very creative, fiery, passionate. You know, I see you having a ton of energy here and moving forward, moving forward, maybe making a decision, moving forward.
I don't feel like this five of pentacles. I don't really feel like this is you lacking financially. If that was the case, if some of you, some of you were dealing with financial hardships, this could be some generosity that's coming through uh, for you, Leo. Leo, this could be from your mother or a motherly figure. Uh, for some of you, you know, I feel like there is this woman that's very significant this week for some of you. She could be helping you out or this can always go in both ways. You could be helping this, this woman out. But let me pull you an additional guidance card, additional guidance for Leo for this upcoming week. Additional guidance for Leo. For some of you, you know, for those single Leos, I, I see a relationship here. So for some of you, I see you getting into a relationship, but for whatever reasons, all right, that's interesting. You know what, I'm gonna look at both of these. This is the card that landed upright, and then we have this one as well, very nice. And I was just saying that for whatever reasons, you know, for some of you, this is more internal than anything else. You're losing faith. Things are taking maybe a long time to manifest. Um, but there is this relationship here for some of you that's very significant. Um, you're, you're moving towards getting into a relationship for some of you. Now, this is interesting. We have admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what is what it is that you truly desire so interesting so maybe there are some leos that you could have been deceiving yourself maybe you do need to be true with yourself what is it that you really want what is it that you really want for those of you that are in a relationship what is it that you want from this relationship Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. And then we also have everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. And as you, as you saw, Leo, these cards slapped out. So when cards flip out like that, especially when they slap out like that, um, you know, those messages are, are very, very significant. Those are the cards that I find most significant. And this is a beautiful confirmation that everything is okay. Everything's working out. Everything is going in your favor. There's no need to worry. Even if things are taking a long time to manifest, they're still manifesting. Everything is okay. Okay, Leo. So I do hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and I do wish you a wonderful week. Take care.